Unboxing time is the ITAP from Boel, the answer to all your bottling needs. Let's find out. Today we're going to do the unboxing and run through the, the ITAP, some accessories and also what you will need to get started with it. And uh, in another video we will build a beer tower for it and of course try it out and do a full review on it. A little while ago I was contacted by Boel, asked me quite a while ago actually, they asked me if I could review their ITAP 2 version. This is a double version, they're also single version and a pro version, I'm going to talk about that also. So they sent me over some stuff to try out, but it didn't make it through the Swedish customs. I don't know if there was my side order of the Babushka dolls that that stopped it. If you don't know what a babushka doll is, it's like the the kinder egg without the chocolate and the toys. So, uh, ah, maybe not. Let's just get started. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. So if you want to learn with me how to come better at beer and brewing, consider becoming a subscriber. And yeah, to hit that little bell so you get notifications when I put out a new video. And of course, smash the like button. And if you're just here to troll, don't forget to hit the dislike button twice for double the impact. Yeah, it's a little secret we have. And of course, much appreciated if you want to help out by becoming a Patreon channel member or just buy me a beer. All links down below. ITAP 2, if you haven't heard about this, Boel claims that this is the superb way to bottle beers with extreme little waste, no foaming, is counter pressure filling. I think this is for like brew pubs. We can go and get a growler and take it home with it. We can't do that in, in Sweden really, but there is other countries I've heard besides Sweden. And the pro version is for small brewers, but the ITAP 2 and the ITAP 1 would be great for home brewers, I think. If it works as claimed, we're gonna find that out. Today, let's open it up, look at the accessories and uh, what you will need to hook it up. This is Shalgam. It's a non-alcoholic fermented beverage. We'll link down below to, to that. It basically fermented black carrots. Have you ever had gum? Comment down below. Just to be clear about everything, I have not paid for this, but no money has changed hands and uh, Boel has no saying in my content and they do not get to review my videos before I release them. If you're not just interested in a bottling device, there is an accessory here we're gonna check out which make this into a full-blown yes, beer tap. Let's crank open the, the box. So I have a manual in English. How to hook it up and how to use it. We won't read that of course. We have the unit itself. The unit comes with, at least mine did, with a mount for crown cap bottles, 25 millimeters. And there are several different mounts you will need for different bottles. We're going to check those out in a bit. Here's the double unit. The single unit doesn't look as cool. It doesn't have the horns, of course. It has the only one. I think the double unit is a really good choice, really, because it takes less space, two beers. And we have a little goodie bag here. Here's the, the shank. The shank is just used for mounting. This is just plastic, but it feels very, very sturdy. And uh, if we look at the joints here, it, we have metal. It comes with an extra seal, nice. And also the other parts we will need. So this is for, for gas. And they all have a little rubber seal here. This is for beer number one, beer number two, and the waistline. The waistline? So we're basically all hooked up now. So you're supposed to just put the, the bottle in there and turn the lever and that pushes the uh, bottle up against the, the seal. You can perch this with CO2, let the CO2 out, start counterfilling your beer. But we will give it a, a really good try. So it came with this mount for the, uh, the normal 25mm crown caps. 
And this one is for pet bottles. This one is for uh, swing top bottles. You do have to remove the actual swing top before you bottle it and then just reattach it and enclose it. Maybe not a big problem, but yeah, you have to know about that. The Pro version don't have this. They have a stand instead which pushes the, uh, the bottle against the seal and they would fit any type of bottle even a swing top bottle without removing the actual swing top. But it is very, very expensive. And the last one, I believe, is for champagne bottles. But I don't have any champagne bottles on me. Sorry about that. Feel free to send champagne. And when you don't want to use it as, as a bottle filler, you can just use it as a tap. This works with the, the original 25mm crown cap bottles. And this has a flow control here. It's really really heavy. It's a lot of metal in here. So now it's basically a tap with with flow control for two beers. I'm guessing that you like me want to find out what happens if you fill two beer at once. Yeah we're gonna do that I promise. So don't forget to subscribe and like and all of that. First impression everything feels kind of sturdy and uh, I'm guessing that all of you don't need all of the different varieties of mounts, but there is if you want them. But I'm thinking the, the G-Connect is a good choice for most of us if you want to use this as a tap also and not just like a, a bottle filler. What would, do you need to hook this up then? We need somewhere to fit it of course. I could fit it on the fridge here, but uh, I'm recording here so I would like to brush my back against it. I could fit it on the side here. I might even do that on the side of the fridge. But it will be hard to record testing it out. And I also want to know if it actually is as good as they say before I drill a hole in my fridge. So I'm thinking let's build a mobile beer tower. We're going to do that in the in the next episode. I've seen people just mount it on whatever. But of course, if we can keep beer lines cold, it would be better. But this summer, I'm thinking of a bigger project where we can run beer lines from this keyser outside here in the room and build like a bigger tapping station. How about that? Do you like that? So smash the like button if you want to see that. We will need some some beer lines, some connections and some waist lines because they're, they're gonna be dripping maybe not much but so you want to put the waist line here. It ain't gonna be much pressure but of course I suggest using hose clamps on, on everything and of course we will need gas line, beer line. So beer line goes on here and beer line goes on there. If you have the single version, you will have these three, but not, of course, the second beer line. So you will still have a waistline. Can you say the waistline? Now you can. And this is for, for the gas, and this is for the beer. From here, you run a beer line with a beer coupling. If you're just gonna use that a bottle filler, you don't have to be super picky about the, the length, but Otherwise, as normal with the casing system, you, you will need to get a balance system. So, why don't you start with like two and a half meters, something like that, and you can shorten it if you want to. We do have some like flow control here, of course, on the NG Connect, and I haven't tried this out, but I'm gonna start with a uh, longer beer line and if I can I will shorten it and for the gas the CO2 I would suggest if you have a single version just using a splitter so go from the regulator in and out to the eye tap and out to the keg then you will have the the same pressure when you start filling it's not super important of course as soon as you will start to fill the, the pressure will equal out anyways but you still need to have 
CO2 running into the uh, ITAP to be able to perch and all of that. And also you need to have CO2 in your keg. So I would suggest using a splitter. And for the two version, as we can have two kegs, if we want to use them at the same time, you will need two, two splitters or one of those like fancy splitters also, which I will use of course, because I'm, I'm a fancy boy. Yeah, man, I'm a man, God damn it. Cheers. You can be a boy. The length of the gas line is of course up to you how long you need. And uh, you can use 316 uh, for gas, the, the thinner one. Try it out, see if, if, you, if you like it. I picked this up at, uh, at Brew Goat because, yeah, as I said, Buell couldn't send it to me directly. It wouldn't pass the, the customs for some reasons. But now when the, a big shipment of this hit Brew Goat, I could pick it up there. In the next episode, we're going to build the beer tower, hook everything up and start playing with that so don't forget to subscribe like and share and all of that also check out patreon and channel members so guys thank you for today thanks for watching dog tons out